హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఆన్లైన్ లెక్చర్ సిరీస్ ఆర్గనైజ్ బై డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ మెకానికల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ ఎస్ఎండి కాలేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ అండ్ రిసర్చ్ సెంటర్ ఎవ్లా టుడేస్ సబ్జెక్ట్ ఈజ్ కంప్యూటర్ ఆడెడ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ ద టాపిక్ ఈజ్ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ టు కంప్యూటర్ ఆడెడ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ దట్ ఈస్ సిఏఈ హియర్ ఆర్ ద పాయింట్స్ దట్ ఆర్ కవర్డ్ డ్యూరింగ్ దిస్ సెషన్ first is the introduction to cae that is computer aided engineering introduction and the methods in that cae then second point is the use of cae in product development as we know that product development cycles now a days com- uh, application of computers are helpful in the product development cycle the third point is discretization of the domain here the basic point of cae is to discretize the body or to convert the body into finite number of elements that is known as discretization the fourth point is finite element method here some introduction of finite element method has been presented the next point is history of fem there will be certain history regarding finite element method that we have to discuss in that topic the next is the phases of fem there are certain phases which we have to discuss in this topic then next point is fem terminologies what are the different terminologies that uses in fem method that we have to discuss in this topic and the next point is the general procedure of finite element method now we discuss this point one by one basically introduction to cae the cae or computer aided engineering is defined as the application of computer software to simulate or simulation on the of the performance of product design for the development as well as to assist the solution for complex engineering problems nowadays classical methods are not sufficient to solve the complex engineering problems therefore a newly adopted computer implemented software techniques are used to solve such type of complex engineering problems it includes simulation validation as well as optimization of the products there or maybe manufacturing process as well as machining tools here are the some benefits and limitations of the computer aided engineering the benefits are covered as saving of time and money as the computers are implemented there will be considerable time saving as well as money saving along with the products the next benefit is reduces error in the design and drawing process when we are drawing or designing any component the personal errors are added in that uh, drawing the particular drawing if go on to the manufacturing there will be considerable errors and mistakes in the manufacturing also so with the help of computer implementation we can reduce this uh, errors in design as well as drawing purposes the next is the impact of change in parameters on the system can be studied more accurately there are certain parameters which are impacting on the system for example dynamic parameters are there maybe environmental parameters are there they are also impacting on the system such parameters can be studied more accurately with the help of computer aided engineering the robustness and performance of the every component and assembly can be analyzed easily now if we use a classical method to find the solution of an engineering problem there are certain limitations or we have to give certain assumptions for that clear the limitations now in this case if you use cae softwares for the analysis they can give the performance of the every components as well as assembly easily the next benefit is the good visualization and improves the design the results of this cae software are good and easily understandable also they are visualized in a graphical form so this will be more beneficial as compared with the classical techniques though along with these benefits there are certain limitations to this ea first limitation is high capital investment for computer system 
and software applications etc initial amount we have to pay high for the procurement of higher end aid computer systems as well as softwares that are required for the analysis purposes the next limitation is the requirement of skill person in it also we have required skill person to easily understood and analyze the analysis of the analysis from the softwares next limitation is since it involves numerical and approximation methods there is certain considerable errors in the actual physical results obtained from the system and the software results obtained from the ce softwares the next point is use of ce in product development we know that the traditional product development cycle is shown in the left side of the presentation we started then we take the market survey for any component then we design detail design by the analytical method of that component then we are going to produce that component through manufacturing processes and that component then we will end use if the defects are observed by the end users or customers then we are going to modify these parameters including design parameters manufacturing parameters again we have to de design again we have to manufacture and then in use if no defects are observed then it is the com optimized component now after the observing of defects we have to modify this manufacturing parameters these are easy for simple components but in case of complex assemblies and higher end applications like aircraft structures marine structures it is not easy to obtain easily the manufacturing process parameters because every time we have to design the tool as well as die for that manufacturing particular component so this method is very difficult and the results were always error uh, there is always error in the results of this product development cycle nowadays a product development cycle with ce has more importance as compared with the traditional one the method is shown on the right side of the presentation it we start the market survey after that we are designing the uh, component by using with the help of computer aided design and drawing then computer aided design and drawing will be going to the computer aided process planning where the planning is done on the manufacturing processes the, in that point the computer aided tool and die is also designed also computer aided manufacturing is there with the help of vmcs and cncs then the after production the part is going to the end use if there is observe any defects then we have already computer database systems and standard formats for the design like igs igs that format can be utilized for the design analysis and manufacturing of this component so we don't need every time to invest the money for every drawing and every maintenance or analysis okay this is about the product development cycle now this is the main point of the ca or we can say that finite element method also discretization of domain it is the method or process of dividing the physical system into certain finite number of elements is known as discretization since the method used to obtain the solution of the problem by such finite number of elements therefore this method is also known as finite element method the discretization is the process in which body is divided into finite no number to solve a model by approximation methods and find the solution of the problem the discretized element may be in the form of one dimensional or two dimensional or three dimensional depending on the complexity of the problem and the points connected by the elements are known as nodes here the figure is shown on the right side it is the discretized model of a basketball it is shown the black lines in the figure indicates that there are certain elements that are joined together with the help of nodes and moving towards the introduction of finite element method it is the most popular numerical tool 
used to solve engineering problems this method enough that can solve engineering problem with any boundary conditions any material properties and even any loading conditions it is used to obtain the solution of a complex engineering problems the continuum or system has infinite degrees of freedom or such system may not be solved by the classical methods so fem method or finite element method reduces this infinite degrees of freedom to finite degrees of freedom and solve the problem using numerical techniques then the all the solution is assembled to find out the final solution to the given problem the part of a discretized body are called as elements and the elements are connected to each other by the points known as nodes where we are finding the solution at the nodes here the difference between classical method and finite element method has been shown the classical methods will obtain exact solution in case of finite element method we have got the approximate solution the classical method is suitable for only certain few standard cases of the problem the finite element method is suitable for all cases of the problems when the complexity are faced then classical method needs limitations or there is requirement of assumptions in case of finite element method there is no any assumptions required for the solution of the problem also in classical method if the material properties are not isotropic then the it is difficult to obtain the solution from such classical method in case of finite element method any type of material properties can be handled for example isotropic orthotropic properties can also be given in the finite element method linear models or the models which has linear behavior with respect to loading can be easily handled by using classical method in case of finite element method linear as well as non linear models can also be handled so it is beneficial to use a finite element method over classical method in history of finite element method here is the certain history collected for finite element method in 1943 current evaluated the torsional rigidity of the hollow shaft uses the triangular element to find out the solution of a hollow shaft in 1956 the turner evaluated stiffness matrices for truss as well as beam elements in the range of 1960 clock invented the term finite element method used for the approximation methods in 1967 Zinkiewicz and Chung wrote the first book on finite element method. In the range of 1960s to 70s, Nastan, which is also called as numerical and structural analysis, that software were developed for aircraft structures. In phases of finite element method, the process of finite element method has been covered in three three main phases. First phase is pre processing pre processing involves solid modeling of the system applying physical properties to the system discretizing the model and applying the boundary conditions including loads as well as thermal conditions the next phase is the processing the processing phase is uh, solve the model by particular mathematical technique under physical phenomenon this is the main phase of the finite element method software which is used to obtain the solution by particular uh, for particular system by using the pre processing boundary conditions and load conditions and the third phase is post processing the results of finite element proce- method process are represented to the reviewers with the help of graphical and numerical data the results of the finite element method is always represented by the certain graphical data as well as uh, tables are given on the for the solution 
which are obtained from the execution of the physical system then terminologies used in the finite element method the first terminology is continuum or domain it is defined as continuous mass having certain sequence of particles then it is known as continuum or domain or usually we can say that it is also one of the physical system that will be shown as a continuum node second what terminology is the node a point where the value of field variable is to be determined suppose we have to determine the temperature of at the end of a cantilever beam by one with one end is fixed then the field variable is the temperature for that particular beam so the points where we have to measure the variables is known as nodes elements after the discretization the body is converted into non finite number of elements so each uh, part is known as the element of that body and we know degrees of freedom the number of coordinates are required to specify the motion of the body then it is known as degrees of freedom and fifth terminology is the load loads are in the case of finite element method are applied loads surface forces are there etc then sixth terminology is the boundary conditions these are the conditions up to which the continuum has been defined these boundary conditions are may be homogeneous as well as non homogeneous the homogeneous boundary conditions consist of fixed beam which is fixed at both the ends and the non homogeneous boundary conditions consist of a beam with fixed at one end and free at another end now the general procedure of finite element method the finite element method can be processed with the help of these six steps step 1 includes discretization of a given continuum means discretization of a physical system into finite number of elements the step 2 selection of a displacement model or a particular displacement model has been selected for example it is may be polynomial of third degree second degree fourth degree that is the selection of displacement model then step 3 finding the stiffness matrices load vectors and displacement vectors for the element now we have certain finite elements now we can find the stiffness matrix load vectors and displacement vectors for that particular elements the step 4 is assembly of these all matrices to gain the global stiffness matrix and global load vector and global displacement vector at the step 5 the application of boundary conditions are stated in the problem for so obtaining the solution now after the application of boundary condition we get there is step 3 step 6 to determine the unknown parameters at the end of applying boundary conditions where solution is ready to obtain the unknown parameters okay guys this is about these topics that we have covered in next section we will do one dimensional elements and uh, step functions for that particular one dimensional elements